specifically for for my Facebook friends. I generally had about 5,000 Facebook friends for the last year or two. But every now and then, when I talk about a topic that doesn't have anything to do about marijuana, man, I get all the haters come chiming in. I think the first time it really happened was when I, I, I got upset with the NRA director, um, you know, after the killing of the kids in the school in Connecticut. And I had a whole bunch of Second Amendment rights type people who smoke marijuana too, but they disagreed with my opinion on the Second Amendment or whatever it was, and they chimed in uh, on some hate shit. I lost a whole bunch of friends, but I didn't care. I probably had two or three hundred friend requests at the time. Those ten or twenty were gone. Poof. I just added 15, 20 more friends, and who cares? It happened during the Zimmerman issue. Pff, same thing. I believe Zimmerman killed, murdered Trayvon. Pff, a whole bunch of people had a different opinion, so bam, new friends. Now, with this shithead thing, I call him shithead because I refuse to call him by his name. The one is over there in Russia right now, and everybody, a lot of these people are calling him a hero, and I think he's a traitor. Whatever. Uh... It happened, and I didn't care. Same thing, too. Manning, same thing. I think he's a traitor. He got prosecuted. I didn't even have to chime in much. I just <laughs> I just watched it all happen, and I happened to agree with it. So I didn't say nothing. Just watched it happen. Now this bird dog thing is coming, and I just can't help it. The guy's a traitor, a deserter, like, like worse than shithead in a way. You know, like, he walked away from his unit in battle and join the army. It appears. Who knows? Maybe he did. But I think when he gets released from the hospital in Germany, probably Second General Hospital, he should be transferred to Kaiserslautern Deten Military Detention Center. And he should be court-martialed. And if he's found not guilty, then so be it. It goes back to his unit or whatever he wants to do. If he's found guilty, give him a cell right next to Manning in the Leavenworth Lounge. If you don't like that, tough. I don't believe everything the government does either. Absolutely don't. That's why I bitch about the war on drugs. I bitched about the entire war, wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, I bitch about a lot of things, to be honest with you. You know, I don't agree with, uh, uh, man, I don't even want to tell you the list of things I, I, I disagree with. But that's what being in America and all that's about. We have the right to bitch and complain and voice our opinions and all that. And I just draw the line at being actually a traitor, too. Like, I can bitch about the country all I want. I wouldn't go to the other side, to another country, you know, like Shithead is right now. Carried all kinds of secrets. Our secrets he stole from his job. And here he was. He's another one. I don't know. Uh, his, his whole story is wacky. You know, like, like he was a, he joined the army. He became a military failure. A couple years later, he gets a job with a contractor with the NSA. He doesn't really work there that long. I, I don't remember. Like, someone look it up and tell me. But he didn't work there that long. It's like he went there to steal as much as he could steal and then hauled ass out of the country with it and trying to tell the world stuff that most of us already knew anyway. Anybody who paid attention. You know, I always knew <laughs> when I talked on my telephone, when I made my little weed deals, that the man could be listening to me. I always thought that. I always knew they could listen to you. Like, most of the things that Snowden said to me, he wasn't saying nothing that I didn't already know. Matter of fact, after 9-11, when those Patriot Act and several other uh, intelligence statutes and codes were created after 9-11, there were some people who bitched about them. I was actually one of them, and I bitched about them too. I knew that our government was eavesdropping on everything, grabbing data for everything. Also, they're not listening to every single phone call. It's really a data collection system, you know, almost like a fingerprint collection system, you can say, digitally. That doesn't mean that they're... Anyway, long story. I, I actually disagree with all that. I disagreed with it. But that doesn't mean that if I found all this evidence of it from my government that I would run over and give it to some other country, carry it in a briefcase or a suit, however he did it, gave it to foreign journalist, Greenwall, yes, he's an American, but he worked for The Guardian, which is a foreign press, but anyway, long story short, if you don't like me calling 
the three stooges traders you can unfriend me I don't care I'll still smoke a joint with you and see that's another problem with uh, potheads coming from all walks of life you know I have I have many liberal friends who smoke weed and a bunch of conservative type friends who smoke weed. Hello. You Second Amendment dudes are always smoking weed and shooting hey, their guns. How you doing? So, but they don't like some of my opinions about gun rights. Oh uh, well. The super no, I'm lefty not liberal types who smoke weed and fun and love. Uh, and hippie types who also uh, I attract. Not there. Not around. You say punish a traitor. <laughs> they want to cry and scream too. Anyway, oh, well. your opinion, yeah, I can, my opinion, doesn't change my opinion.